Coming up, the creator of the wet brush is here to try and convince me that his brush will really help me untangle my hair without any pain or tearing, no matter if it's wet or dry. We'll see. Welcome back to A Healthy You. You've seen the commercials for the wet brush, right? Is your hair full of tangles and knots when you get out of the shower or pool? Is your old, tired paddle brush or wide tooth comb making your brushing experience long and painful? Well, then stop suffering and start detangling with the wet brush. I have to say that I've heard from several women around here that they love, love, love this brush, that they can't live without it. Well, I'm a little bit more skeptical about it. I've been using it for about a month, and I still have to somewhat pull and yank to get it through my hair. Am I doing something wrong? With me now is Jeff Rosenwig from the Wet Brush Company to try and convince me that his product really is the best brush around. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Carol. And so I'm going to give you your chance here to prove to me. I, I have to say I have very thin hair, and it's very long, and I usually use a pick to get through my hair. I start at the bottom and I work my way to the top. And I was trying your brush and there was no way I could start at the top and go all the way down without tangles and catching my hair. So I'm giving you a chance today to show me what I'm doing wrong, okay? Well, I don't know that it's exactly that you're doing something wrong. I think what really is the major benefit of our wet brush is it's extremely gentle. When you use a pick, the teeth on the pick are rigid and they pull and tug at your hair. But with the wet brush, because the bristles are so soft and gentle, they detangle and they go through the hair like butter. So it, whether you either, you can start at the bottom with a wet brush. It's very healthy to start that way. Except when you're using the brush, you won't be pulling and tugging at the hair. So you can work your way up and it will effectively detangle your hair in the healthiest way possible. Okay, I have to say that was the most honest answer I've had because I watched your commercial and you're saying, oh, look at the hair, it's all tangled and you can pull the brush through. And I was under the impression from the infomercial that you could start at the top and pull it on through. So I'm glad that you have clarified that. It was really a very honest answer that it's not about the fact that it's, your hair's tangled and you can start from the top and pull it through without tangles. But it's the fact that your brush bristles are different than other bristles and how are they different? Well, um, most brushes have rigid bristles. They're made out of um, nylon pins or boar bristles, which could be very good, but they're not flexible enough. Okay. And with the wet brush, our bristles are made out of um, a material we call IntelliFlex. Okay. And that stands for intelligent flexibility. They know when to be firm, they know when to be flexible. So when they encounter a, tear, um, a, a tangle or a knot, they just bend out of the way. And then the next time they get it. So they loosen it up and then they completely detangle it. No pain, no tugging, no pulling, no ripping. That's a big thing, no ripping of hair, especially if your hair is long. And now we're going to show how this brush worked through you. Would you mind showing us how this goes, Cindy? So we saw in the beginning that it was very tough to get the brush. It was a tangle and now it just brushes right on through. And can you show us the brush itself? Are there any hairs in the brush that have been caught up in the brush? No. no hairs in the brush. So basically, you also told me you can do it on dry hair, and you did something amazing, which is why I pulled you actually on set. Can you show us what you did on your dry hair? You actually backcombed your hair. You backcombed it, so now you're making it purposely tangly. Okay, wow, that's really tangly. Turn, uh, turn a little sideways so they could see it from the front. Okay. <laughs> And excellent. May I? I had Hi, my hair purposely tangled in the back. I don't know if you can see it. I've been all back combed. So now I want to try. All right. It's a it's a little tough, but not as tough as my pick. I have to say, my pick is very very rigid. And yep, it went right on through without. Can you see what I'm doing here? I, I even like sometimes take it from the bottom and move it on up, which you should do with long hair, especially after you wash it. So, and, and no hair. One. A little, One. but there's always going to be some natural shedding so, in all hair brushing. The whole point of this, and let me, all right, there was a couple. Let me show you. The point of this, if you can come in close on this brush, is you call it an IntelliFlex. Did you make up that word? Um, yes, I did. Yeah, okay, because it sounds like it. Um, it. Because I don't know any other brush that does this. They bend. Can Wait, hang on. Let me see. Oh, I can get it. There we go. They bend, and they go through the knot, loosening it up first, and then the second time through, it 
brushes on through. I, I understand what you're saying, and this is probably the softest brush I've seen. All right. So well, you've seen how this works. You've heard Jeff's explanation. You've heard how they created this brush. And I, I was much better with it this time than I was at home when I was using it on my wet hair. But the point is, how does it work for you? Jeff, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Coming up, Ask Carol.